Hey y'all, checking in. Um, it's getting down to the wire. <laughs> and Chris Madison and I are doing like some final walkthroughs of some properties because we're about 30 or so days out from when we need to move. So now it's like comparing, seeing what we like and what we don't like to make like final decisions and pick the house that we want to move into. So that's what we'll be doing. Um, some houses may be familiar, others may not, but that's what we're doing. So if anything looks familiar, just know we've been here before. But yeah, yeah so that's what we're doing. And I like this house because it's two story. This is one of her top picks, I guess. So here we go. Okay, first off, when we walk in, we have a French door study. Um, go this far. So I can show the side. Literally, when you walk through the front door, Come in from there. This space, it has a nice size closet. The window's there. It's the lighting fixture. And then this is the closet, which is, I would say, a pretty nice size to be a study closet. And I like that it has that shelving there. And then this is the little walkway. I like this because you can put a nice painting right there when you walk in. Paintings. Oh, Lord. I think one big one would be nice. Hey, He's so old. <laughs> okay, let me turn on some more lights and then we'll go up the stairs in a minute. But yeah, you can go over there. Let's go. You go first. <laughs> she be thinking something gonna pop out of Okay. No, I just don't want spider webs. I hope there ain't no spider webs. She was last time and I was so walking. Through. I don't think that was in this house. Okay, y'all. So here is one of the bedrooms the window is right there so i won't be looking out there this is also a nice size let me see this guess. is closet this is the guest room i mean it could be it's, since it's right here by the front door it could be a guest room for sure i mean it could be a guest room or it could be like we could make it into something for sure so yeah i'm going to stand right here Get on, girl. And I'm not gonna go all the way in. Okay, and then here is what I believe is a um, linen closet. Nice size linen closet as well. And this would be most likely the guest bathroom. Or if Madison chose bedroom, this could be her bathroom. Let's go join Madison and Chris in the garage. And before I go out there, this is the mud room area from last time and then I might wish I got a laundry room that I might recognize it from a previous vlog. Nice size washroom, a lot of space, more space than the current one for sure. Okay, and immediate pro to this one would be that it is a three car garage versus the others being a two car garage. So y'all will turn on there. Um, yeah, or one or the other. Like either way, we're gonna have additional space. So right off the bat, having a three car garage is a win because we have additional storage. So if we had some things we didn't want in the house, we could store it out here versus getting a storage. Um, Chris is going up the attic. And that was another plus. I will say this, that's another plus because I like the fact that the attic is out here in the garage. And you can drive the Yeah, I mean, it's supposed to though. But yeah, um, I like that it's out here in the garage because y'all yeah, already know, little creepy crawly spiders like to be in the attic sometimes. And I prefer for them to be out here in the garage versus out in the house. And something else that I remember I liked about this house was it has this additional door here that leads to the backyard. So you can obviously get to the backyard from inside of the house, but I like the fact that you can also use this door in the garage to get to the backyard as well. All right, y'all, one more pro. Um, it has insulation up in here that's like bomb, so it's not scorching hot. Like today, I think it's supposed to get up to like 100 degrees. It's probably already there, and it don't feel like it in here. Like obviously it's warm, but it's not like, oh my gosh, let me hurry up and get in the car because I'm sweating. It actually feels like okay in here. What we were discussing with Madison is that if she wants her room to be on the same level as our room, then this would be her bathroom, but it would also obviously double as a guest bathroom, like I discussed with y'all earlier, and then her room would be that room 
right there if she chose um, to be on the same level as us. If she doesn't care about that, which I think she does, then she could have one of the rooms that are upstairs. So that's just something for her to think about. All right, y'all, we are walking down the little hall here. And that's that uh, coat closet with like the extra storage, which is similar to what we have at the current house. So that's good to have as well, in addition to that garage storage space. Okay, now we're walking into the kitchen. I guess you set a bowl right there. And I like this one. Stephanie already. Because I like all of that cabinet space. Plus I like the white airy look and the pantry is a nice size. The countertop is cool. They have a light gray backslash. Fix that. It's not broken. The screw just came out. It looks like. And then the dishwasher. And then over here in the living room, we have the fireplace. And then this is the ceiling fan. And Chris opened up the blinds. So it's like a lot of nice natural lighting, which is always good. And then we have the little drop down light fixtures. So this would be the fridge side. Side. We don't hoard food, so this is for this size. <laughs> and then for the island, we can put some little bar stools if we wanted to. It's not needed, but we could, you know. Okay, so this is the complete living room. So you have to get your big head ready. <laughs> this is the complete living room. This is the dining. Okay, and just off first glance, this is the one with a smaller porch, but the porch is covered. It's just smaller than some of the other ones. A little. Okay. Should I put air? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
area. Playroom. Or her playroom, I mean. Put your business stuff in there. So here is another bedroom up here. This door leads out to the attic. This is a larger closet for this particular bedroom. For sure. Oh yeah, there's another bathroom which is larger as J and G's sinks. Lots more storage. It's just an overall larger bathroom space. And then here is another bathroom. Another closet. Oh yeah, this closet is pretty spacious too. I remember all the closets being spacious. Again, another office space with the French doors. Here's the hallway. Nice and wide. Um, still has a mudroom, just a little bit smaller. Wait, throw your shoe. Throw your stuff. And here's the door to the garage. We have to switch out batteries. This thing garage. Well, it's small, it's two part versus the three part. <laughs> Here is the Washroom, still very spacious. Y'all good? And then one thing I did like was this door led from the primary uh, second closet to the washroom. That was one thing I remember I liked. Okay, y'all. So here's the little hallway across from the washroom. Well, that's what I'm saying, baby. <laughs> oh, so it looks like, like that one. Now, sleepovers we can both do the same thing. Sure. True that. I had switch batteries, okay. Immediate big linen closet for show right here. And then the other two bedrooms right here. So this would be one of them. Here's the second bedroom. And this one has more natural lighting once the blinds are opened. And then my size closet out. Back. Oh, going to the living room. Definitely about to turn on some lights. And this space seems bigger to me. Yeah, so this one has a larger living room for sure. And then Kitchen. Yeah, that was their last time. We'll look at it in a minute, but I think it's just to tell you how to operate first. So, yeah, this is the dining area, and then this is the um, island that I prefer just because I liked the uh, gray in it as well as the white, and then I liked the darker gray backsplash. Same stove, and then this one has equivalent cabinet and drawer space. Not only surrounding the stove and above it and all of that, but also over here to the pantry, which is still a good size. It's real nice. Here's the view outside of the living room window. You can see it directly out to the covered patio. Uh, mm. uh, <laughs> I'm gonna sit in the shower so I can clean my body while I sit down. I'm gonna just come in here and take a shower. No, baby, we ain't got no space. Another deep tub. Just show y'all the seat because I love it. Another separate his and hers. Sinks for Jack and Jill, y'all know. Mama's getting the big side with some weedy. And then, you can the bathroom to do your business again. Uh -huh. As I, I sit in my seat, I don't Is it a parole where we have so many legs? The seat is massive. This is the second closet, the one that I was showing y'all that was connected to the, the, the washroom. So, this is that closet. Can I take the camera and run around circle? 
No. And I'm gonna go in this one a little deeper. Just take another drop. <laughs> I can't take this chance. Thank y'all. Hey yo, it's bigger than the other one. Take a look. This is a house that we have not been able to walk through because they hadn't installed the smart locks yet. We would have needed a realtor. Girl, we would have needed a realtor. Um, and so this is our first time walking through this one. So this one will be brand new to us and brand new to y'all. First thing we noticed was the huge foyer area here. Now it just smells like fresh painting, new stuff. Okay, this is the garage. Okay, that little extra. Okay. Okay. For sure. So Chris said this one has more storage like our previous town that we were living in. So we could definitely have some storage out here. Nice size garage. And this one's insulated too, y'all. Down here is the laundry room. Okay, it's a cool size. It's equivalent to the other ones. This is a bedroom. Not my bedroom. <laughs> okay, let me see. So tiny. It's so tiny. Double doors. Open the feet. Okay. Another under um, stair storage. There also be a coat closet. Small to me. And there's my bedroom there. Oh, I call this room. The I call this room. Bathroom. Girl, that's probably the primary, but I don't know yet. I ain't look. Okay, so here's another bedroom. And then here is the closet. All the closets are pretty standard. They're pretty much the same. I'm gonna go check out this bedroom. Okay, here's another, here's another bedroom. And this ain't even the primary, but this is a nice size bedroom. And then here's a closet. Madison says she calls this bedroom. Yeah, I can see her claiming this one because it got that bathroom right there, so it will work out perfect. Okay. I don't remember what you told me, but it was something. Something you saw in them pictures you didn't like. I don't know what it was though. Yeah, I like it so far too, because this seems just as open as the other one. And this is a lighter um, hardwood flooring too. Okay. I like this island too. Ooh, yeah. I'm about to. Okay, y'all, so the kitchens are very um, similar. So I'm not gonna bore y'all too much, but I like the dark backsplash because it's just like, the last one we just left, and then I like the dark um, gray throughout the island. What you got to say? That's the island? Uh, I'm yeah, it's a nice, oh. massive island. <laughs> Stop it. It's a nice, massive island compared to the other one. And then we still get all of that additional cabinet space and all of that. And then this will be the area where we eat it. And I'm about to show y'all. So we go to the fireplace, and then we still got to go up the steps. But y'all, this back patio, love it because it's covered and there's no sun on there at least not this time of day two light settings above the stove and i guess the other ones did too we just didn't play with it no oh it did yeah oh, okay. so this is the first one and then you got the bed i'm not gonna put it up it's the second one i'll show y'all the nice old one made dinners okay. here the pen excuse me here's your nice size Oh, it smells like paint. Do you have much cabin space? Yeah, I love it. I, it's so big. Off to a bedroom. Whoa. Is it dead? No. There's a spider, y'all. And it's cool. No, I won't play with him. <laughs> Why does that look like a, just a not rare spider? So I had to step back out, y'all. I thought this was another bedroom. This is the primary, and I am not impressed with the size of this. Everything else was like wowing us, and then we got to the primary, and we're like, why is it so even, small? Even the other one was bigger. Compared to, you know, the rest of them. Okay, so 
this bathroom looks so back to the bathroom. Okay, got a little, it does, yeah. Do your business. And okay. here is a tub. That's a big tub. Yeah, this is a newer deal than those other two. All of my new deals, but this one was more recently finished. And then that is the like linen closet. Yeah, this this bathroom is definitely more compact. This was like this is closer to the three story. Yeah. Ain't got no seat in there, so we ain't talking about nothing too much, you know. So this is the primary closet. Not gonna lie, I ain't impressed. Okay, I'm going up the steps. Let's see. Let's see. We can oh, see. This is weird. I like this. This is creepy. <laughs> she always talking about something creepy. Nah, this is kind of creepy. Though. It's okay. like, it don't feel. Oh, it's an entertainment space. Okay. Let me see. This doesn't feel. Okay. Okay, I remember this one because I was like, oh, they got a whole, it's a full bathroom right there. This is creepy. I like it, but it threw me off because it was a full bathroom. I was like, it could be somebody's bedroom. They just ain't got no door. Yes. So Yeah. Take the whole bag. It's not enough to sell me on the house though. Yeah. It's like come upstairs unless Alright y'all, the temperatures have definitely crept back up in Dallas. We're back in the hundreds, but um, we just made a quick pit stop to Target. We had to go to the restroom. Now we're about to head to my favorite hibachi spot in the Metroplex. Saki, hibachi, and something. I forgot the rest of the name. Saki, hibachi, that's where we hit. I'm going back to the south. I'm going back, 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 back. When my roots ain't watered down. Growing, growing like a bob tree of life on for the ground. Ancestor put me on game. I'm chum on gold chains. With my old shoe in a jail. Drip all on me. Woo! I'm set up that she keep it. Pull up, don't I smell like such a non tobacco incense. Yo, yo, ice, 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 down. <laughs> Good morning, well, good afternoon. <laughs> we headed to um, Waffle House and I just wanted to check in with y'all prior to us getting there so it won't be random. We're definitely hungry, so that's where we're headed. We'll check in with y'all once we get there. We just left Waffle House, y'all, and it was so good. It hit the spot. Especially the grilled cheese. She got a basic grilled cheese. <laughs> I had the sausage, egg, and cheese um, biscuit with a side of hash browns, and now we're at the gas station. <laughs> so we are now about to get ready to head to Half Price Books. We're going to Half Price Books because we're going to be working on some family vision boards. We're going to do them separately, but we're going to work on them together as a family. Um, so that'll be a family project that we're doing. I don't know if we're gonna start on them today or not, but that's what we're going to get. We're going to like grab like some magazines and stuff like that to um, have photos to put on our vision board. Um, and so the great debate for today, y'all. So we've narrowed it down to two houses out of the, I think three or four that we were able to show y'all the other day. Madison is wanting to do the two-story home. I think the first two-story home that we went into. It was the first house we went to. Okay, she's wanting to do that one. I personally like the flat because the flat gave me the nice big island 
with the, the like the gray accents in it the nice dark gray she on her mag get on I'm gonna just taste me then the nice gray um backsplash in the kitchen that accented very well and it was very complimentary to the island um and then the two big closets i liked how one closet went into the laundry room it had the seat in the shower like everything about the flat just it, it spoke to me it gave me that warm and fuzzy the two-story although it had a little bit more room it just didn't give me the warm and fuzzy and obviously we like to have her input but at the same time it's like uh. <laughs> but nah so that's the debate um after we leave after we leave half price books might need to go do like one more little walkthrough or something blah, blah, blah. whatever ah I just love when I'm with you. Yeah, this shit is on 10. We used to be friends, girl, and even back then, you would look at me with no hesitation. Then you tell me, baby, it's yours. Nobody else is. Yeah, this shit belong to nobody. It's yours. Nobody else is. Quick stop, y'all. We stopping at Painted Tree Boutique. So, yeah. Reminds me of the ornament store. Yeah, they got a lot of stuff. Give me some coats. Mom life, ride vibes, road trip, wifey. Those are cute. They got some cute baby clothes, too. It's yours. 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 Yeah, we can watch. Do you right? I can fuck you so good, then I hit you with the 9 a.m. and Dallas. Who you like, baby? Who you like? Machine gun raps for all my niggas in the back Stadium pack, just glad to see the city on the map I just gave the city life It ain't about who did it first, it's about who did it right Niggas looking like bridge Open cases on me for a half a million each I find peace knowing that it's harder in the streets I know, luckily I didn't have to grow there I would only go there cause it's niggas that I know there I don't know what's getting into me I just like to rush when you see your enemy Somewhere in the club and you realize He's just not in a position to reciprocate your energy you ain't never worried cause he's not who he pretends to be People like Lazar who was a best friend of me Start to become a distant memory Things change in that life and this life Started lacking synergy and fucking with me mentally I think it's meant to be Yeah, paranoid Always rolling with my motherfucking boy Alright y'all, we just left Barnes and Noble And we came up here to, what they call it now? Hillside Village um, and we went inside of Minchie's, you know, it's the, uh, the frozen yogurt. I'm gonna show y'all what I got and then what's left of Madison's and uh, what Chris hey. got. So I got some like little sour um, gummy worms. They do not go with my ice cream. I just wanted to eat some of those. But I got some banana pudding ice cream and then I got a whole bunch of vanilla wafers. And I put them on top, but hold on. Okay, so this is my little cup of banana pudding ice cream and vanilla wafers. I didn't want a lot, so I literally just got a little <laughs> Madison got explain to the people what you got. So I got like a bunch of gummy worms, strawberries, like the turtle things, and vanilla ice cream, chocolate, and strawberry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This got what strawberry ice cream, and then he got a bunch of gummy worms, some strawberries, Fruit. and different fruits, kiwi, and stuff like that. Back up on my bullshit, back up on the scene Done dealing with you, don't know how to deal with me Done fucking with you, don't know how to love me Done dealing with you, so I'm back It's in Alright y'all, so we just got to Legacy West Cause we want some lunch And Madison didn't want the exact same thing we wanted So we figured we could all get what we wanted here But you know, obviously still eat at the same place so um, that's where we at. I just left my chiropractor appointment and y'all, my back feels so freaking 
loose. I feel so mobile. I had like a little um, back pain in the middle of my back. That's why um, I went, because I went for my consultation like the week before or whatever, but I didn't bring y'all with me because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to record. But today I actually got my adjustment and I feel like so mobile, so loose. So um, next time, um, if I'm able, then I'll make sure I bring y'all with us. But yeah, like I said, we're at Legacy West, about to uh, wake Chris up. <laughs> and then we gonna uh, go in and then I'll let y'all know what we end up getting Back Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bitch Seeing you with your ex I see you still about your old ways Might you see him for the weekend You say that's a cold place I be feeling triggered I don't know how to let it go Really you ain't chilling I all right, y'all, we just started to eat outside on like the rooftop or whatever. And I'm gonna show y'all our food right quick before Madison finished eating hers. Hey. <laughs> Being hungry still. Okay, so first up, Madison got her some uh, nacho fries, but she only got it from the queso and the ranch. She got them from the son of a butcher. Then we went to Boots Chicken Shack and we got her some tenders. And then Chris got Chilungo tacos. I got like a quick little quesadilla and I got a low thing. Last time I got like two or three of them and it was too much, so I made sure we got one this time. And then Chris got him some uh, tacos. And then of course we got our drinks. We got Kool Aid and then Chris got sweet tea, I believe. And I got more cola meat on my taco. That's what I like. All right, now I'm about to eat some homework. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. No, it's Yours not. good too? Your tender's good? Mm -hmm. They said they still good too. I didn't want the camera to be facing it, but make it all awkward. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's so good. It is. Cheesecake Factory because we obviously are hungry. So we will see y'all once we get inside. 
Don't even waste your time trying to compete with me. No one else in this world 